Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tara is here to do another 48 hour energy update for the sign of Aquarius. Just keep in mind this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information would be in the description box below. This is for the Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs of Aquarius. So let's jump into this reading and see what messages Spirit need for you guys to hear for the 22nd to the 23rd of May. Messages for my Aquarius is for the 22nd to the 23rd of May. Ah, something to do with a Sagittarius. <clears throat> You're trying to look for healing. Somebody's trying to find balance in a situation. Somebody is trying to have a reconciliation. Probably with an Aries. But I think you are about to take charge of a situation between you and a Sagittarius. Ooh, okay. Because you want to know how much they love you. They, you want to um, know if they are mature enough to express their love for you in a healthy way. Because you're done playing games with this person. But this person does love you. There is no dispute in that. And I think someone, either you or this person, is about to take charge of this situation and try to come together with you. Hmm. Yeah, because I think for some of you, you have been sneaking around with this person. Or it could be that this person has been sneaking around with you. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. But there was a fight. There was a fight between you and them that probably ended things and now they are trying to reconcile the fight. Okay. But for some of you, you are feeling that this is a waste of your time. Nothing can come from it. Because these small gestures of caring and consideration that this person gives to you hasn't moved from being just that nice little gestures and you have waited for a while to have something a new passionate beginning with this person but it hasn't happened as, as yet but you're not willing to give up and walk away just yet but I think you're getting tired and of waiting Temperance is also patience. Yeah, so you are you are at a crossroad and you are making a decision to uh -huh, just pull away. You are planning to just pull away from this person because you don't see them as a potential long-term investment. You don't see marriage with this person. Could be a Taurus some of you are dealing with. Uh, you don't see long-term stability with this person. Uh, your morals and values may differ to theirs. And you are not going to offer them your cup of love. Because once or twice you may have caught them being sneaky and lying about something and being deceitful or deceptive. And you, being you, stepped into your own uh, energy and decided to make a judgment call on this situation and cut out what no longer serves you use your head over your heart when you were making this decision and you have erected a wall to block your feelings off from this person because you don't see a ton of cups with them you do not see a happy home happy life kind of situation with them 
and you're not ready to start over with this person. It probably has been a while since anything happened between you and this person, but they keep always checking up on you. But the actual coming together is not happening. So this could probably just be an online romance. And you are no longer wanting to accept this. You want an all or nothing relationship. Mm, that's bold. For some of you, it could be a Virgo you're dealing with, but you are done waiting, hoping, wishing for this person. But this person may be coming back into you with an apology. They probably wronged you and they are now on their way back to you to apologize. And to ask for a second chance maybe. Because they did some retrospective work on themselves while you were on a break. And they have learned some lessons from you that they didn't previously have knowledge about. Some of you could be a Pisces you're dealing with. But somebody is ready to come back and apologize to you. An apology probably is on the way. Because this ended. And it didn't end too nicely. You see? Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with, but this person started to become obsessed. This person started to become controlling, obsessive, codependent. This person could have also had an addiction. Could be drinking, smoking, drugs, alcohol, money, women. But you are ready to have a recognized victory and walk away from this. And whatever memories you shared, you want to forget about it because you want something new. You want something stable. Mm -hmm. You want a two of cups. You want someone that loves you and sees you as a soulmate and sees a relationship with you. <clears throat> yeah because you're ready for the truth from this fire sign Aries Leo Sag this person is gorgeous handsome charismatic outgoing the life of the party but they don't know how to be truthful to you But somebody is manifesting something. But there is a back and forth between whether I go, whether I stay, whether I accept this, whether I don't, whether I change, whether I don't. And you aren't trying to be a diva, but you know you have been through a lot with a lot of other relationships. And you just want this person to come straight and tell you that it's over. It's not going to be a surprise to you. Because I think you have known for some time that this situation was supposed to be an equal give and take. And maybe on some levels it is an equal give and take. But this energy is a flighty one. Rushes in, gives you love, rushes back out. So this could be an on and off relationship that has been going on for quite some time. And you are ready for it to stop. Because this is not making you happy. It's not healing you in any way. And it's not empowering you to do or be a better person. Hmm. 
and you want your wishes to be fulfilled and this person isn't doing that for you okay Aquarius that's what I have for you I hope this message resonates with you guys have a good one